tie and ties. Now, if you've got a tie ties, I came across a book once. Um, I think it said something like 70 or 72 ways to tie a tie, 72 different knots. There are not 72 different knots, there are two. Only two that you'll ever need to learn and should ever be taken seriously. There's the four in hand and the Windsor knot. Now, if you're even going to attempt to tie any tie at all or buy a tie, don't buy ties like this one. This is so thick, it's almost like a duvet. Um, I can make an overcoat out of something this thick. And you're never going to be able to get a nice waist on your tie like that. So, uh, throw that away. This is a lovely tie. It's quite thin, but it's English woven silk. It was made in the Turnbull and Nasser factory by, for, uh, for geese and hawks. I know this because I picked it up at the factory myself. Now, all ties have different ratios. Some are a little bit thinner. So start at the right place for the tie when you get to know it. Now, the tail of the tie will be in the same place. It doesn't get any longer or shorter. This is the one that will lose some of its length. So we start off over like that. Always hold it like that. And don't do this sort of thing, looking down on it like that. Don't do that. It should be up here when you're tying it. So, round the front, hold on to it. Round the back, round the front again. And at this point, just check that that is the right size that you want for your knot. So, round the back, over through that little bit. And always keep hold of the knot then very gently without any jerky movements. Push that down in there. Pull it up gently. It's easy to damage a tie if you pull them too hard. Now ease it up slowly uh, so it's nice and, and, and tight. Then the final thing, the most important thing, is at the end we want to get a narrow waist on. It's like a cross like that. So the middle bit has to be really narrow. So you hold the tie like that and push upwards there. And that should give you a nice shape on the knot. And when you take it off, do everything in reverse, very gently take the tie off. It's very easy to damage the tie. And don't do any of this kind of thing. Always take the tie off, roll it up and put it back in your wardrobe.